Hello everyone, in this video let us discuss how to display a transition on the customer portal. So I was looking at this question uh, that was asked on the community uh, recently from uh, Hiba and Hiba is asking about uh, how might a customer transition a request. When editing the workflow for request in the next gen service desk, there is no option that I can see to make a transition visible on the customer portal as per this ticket. Last year I do remember being able to update status from the portal but I am unable to do so. In a sense I want to, to give customers the ability to escalate a ticket. The existing the, this exists in the workflow and this transition can be done by an agent but I want to have it customer facing as well. Now there are two things here. The first thing is that if you are working on a Jira service test project you have the option to uh, basically modify the workflow of course but uh, when you are looking at the workflow let us say you click on uh, uh, this, this particular transition which is from resolve to in progress, you have the option to show this transition in the customer portal. And when you do th when you do this, uh, your customers will be able to, of course, click on a button to transition the issue from resolve to in progress. So this is something that can be done. However, uh, Hina is, ask is also uh, talking about uh, next gen service desk. So let us see uh, let us try to recreate so if i click on uh, the option here on top to create a new project let us create a new project and let us see if uh, uh, we are able to understand the question correctly or not so when you click on the create button you have the option to of course select a template and you can select a template as a service desk now when you select uh, your service desk uh, template, I am not really sure uh, where exactly is the next gen service desk uh, based template. So there is a, there is an option here of course to try out, uh, try a next gen template. If you click on it, you have basically uh, two options, Kanban and uh, Scrum. I don't really think uh, I might be wrong but based on my uh, understanding of uh, next gen uh, project the, uh, the the option to create a project using a next gen uh, template with the capabilities of roadmap and uh, where people can of course modify a uh, few things in the project it is only there for software based project not really service desk uh, uh, based project so i think uh, there is a there, there is this is probably the confusion here you can do that if you are trying to expose a transition on the customer portal by clicking on the button or a checkbox that we just saw but it is there for a next gen project it is not there for a next gen uh, project even if you create a next gen project uh, i'm not sure if you can modify the workflow yet because uh, when you are working on a next gen project uh, you do have the option to uh, configure a lot of things uh, but uh, not really the workflow so if you if you take a look at uh, this particular uh, next gen based project where i have a backlog i have a roadmap and i can go to the project settings and i don't really have an option here to modify the workflow so so this is something that uh, will probably come and maybe next gen will probably come for service test based projects i'm not sure how it will work because uh, the whole idea about next gen based project is uh, so there are a couple of things but having a roadmap and uh, having this ability to uh, modify uh, things like uh, adding additional fields and when you go to the issue types you can uh, see here that you can uh, basically add your own issue to hip if you want um, and uh, you can also add uh, different fields but i'm not sure whether uh, the question is applicable here so 
you don't really have next in projects for service desk based projects and uh, for service desk based projects you can definitely uh, have a workflow that you can modify and expose your transition on the portal and if you are even talking about so even if even if you are talking about next in projects you don't really have the capability yet to modify the workflow so um this is all i wanted to uh, talk about uh, in this video and i hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much